What is going on guys, JFC here. It is Tuesday today. Today's content on Monday really wasn't, there wasn't much. We really just got a Stefan Radu SBC. So yeah, okay center back, six foot medium high. Okay to solid Serie A center back, but nothing too much more than that. And then our upgrade pack was the 82 plus upgrade, which I'm pretty sure is very bad value. So I, uh, yeah, this, this upgrade pack is not very good. Of course, like you can save for team of the year, right? I think that's why this came out and it is more expensive than usual because they knew people were going to save us for team of the year. Anytime people are saving packs for team of the year, they are going to up the cost of set pack. But other than that, we did not get much today at all. Now, what I want to talk about today is, is there anything like left to do to prepare for team of the year, right? We have like four days until it is here. And also, are we going to see a team of the year warm-up promo like we have seen in the past? So we'll talk about all that today. So let's get into it. Our leak, we have a leak. I said that literally we have one leak and it's not even really a leak. It's that uh, team of the years will be in save packs. It's confirmed. So this was for some reason like a rumor being spread around that it never made really any sense why they wouldn't be in packs. But now it is confirmed that they are going to be in packs. So any save packs you guys have, team of the years are going to be in them. Don't worry about it. And then we have some more leaks here from Futs Source. But like I, these are like not really leaks yet because these are like very obvious. Courtois, Messi, and Mbappe are in the team of the year. I guess he has his info. I'm not really sure how. But these, these three are pretty obvious. So it's not really breaking news by any means. But Mbappe, Messi, and Courtois will for sure be in team of the year. So other than that, let's take a look at the market right now because what are we seeing right now? We're seeing right now on the market uh, we're seeing a little bit of a rise in some places because we just didn't see much content today. In other places, it's just staying the exact same. But there's a few cards going up. Mbappe is going up right now. Reason being, he's out of packs for team of the year. So people are kind of like jumping on that Mbappe train right now, kind of panic buying him. Like, oh shit, he's going out of packs during team of the year. Let me buy him now, which you can do. But there's also a possibility he's getting the team of the, uh, sorry, not team of the year. He's getting a player of the month card. And if he gets a player of the month card, he's probably going to get sold off. So it's a bit, there's a little bit of risk buying him now, but you can kind of see why you might, you might want to. But it's always difficult for me to try and say, hey, buy this card. He was up 30K today, right? When the whole market's like staying about the same, you know, it's difficult to try and say, hey, buy this card. So you can, if you really want him for your team, but um, yeah, if, if you want to buy him, you can, but there is a little bit of risk to it. So looking at the rest of the market here, you know, we're seeing some like heroes up like 10K, 20K. That's kind of expected on a day with no content. You can pretty much no matter what time of the year the market you pretty much count on that if there's no content cards go up like 10 20k that's just how it works but for most cards i don't still don't want to look at buying i still definitely don't want to except for like i talked about that mbappe before who's meh, i still don't love it but i just look at mbappe's price last year what, what did that look like because i'm pretty sure it went on a similar trend let's have a look yes it did so it reached its lowest point on Monday and Tuesday. So that's actually today, right? So could potentially be, you know, a sign that you might want to buy him. And he ended up all the way up, like closing on in a, closing in a million coins over the course of like that entire team of the year promo. Now, of course, last year, there was no player of the month to worry about. And of course, he might, he might not even win it. So it's it's definitely up in the air right now. It's difficult to say. And obviously, it wasn't until after team of the year, he really crashed. And that was just because that was when everything crashed on the market. So last year, we're seeing a very similar graph to what he is this year. But it's like at the same time, like we talked about, the player of the month did not. It, the, that problem wasn't there. Now, let's go check on fodder for a second here. 85 still up. 84 is still up. Uh, that stuff's going to stay up probably for a little while while the SBC is out. The hero SBC and the 100 player upgrade SPC. All those are out. We'll probably see these stay up relatively high. If you bought fodder and you have not sold yet, like I talked about, you know, we didn't get a gamble pack today, so it did go down a little bit. So you did take that risk and it probably didn't quite pay off, but it's not like it went down a ton. So like we talked about yesterday, it ended up being okay if you didn't sell yesterday. Now, I do expect there to be more gamble SBCs on the way. Honestly, I do during this week, simply because whether it's a team of the year warm-up series, whether it's just a lot of SBCs getting released before team of the year, I would expect there to be a couple of like fodder draining SBCs getting released uh, today, tomorrow, Thursday. That would not surprise me at all. I'm expecting at least one or two more, honestly, which in that case, you could end up saying, hey, okay, I want to buy higher end fodder because that's the only fodder that's really not like up crazy right right now then the issue with that is of course we're gonna get a massive amount of supply on friday for team of the year coming out and then fodder is gonna drop a lot so you have to you know buy now when it's kind of up the higher end at least 
and then make sure you sell by Friday. So it's a little bit risky. So personally, would I want to do it? I don't really think so. But yeah, so the actual investment though, for sure, is 91 rated. We are, De Bruyne and Benzema are going to be probably the team of the year, right? There's almost no question in my mind, Benzema makes it. And then De Bruyne is a very, very likely. Lewandowski, probably not, but that's only one card. And then Inform Casemiro will be out on Wednesday, right? I got a packs uh, literally tomorrow. And then of course, Messi's not even fodder and he'll be in team of the year. So at that point, you have Lewandowski. You literally have Robert Lewandowski, who will be an impacts 91 rated. There's a high probability that Lewandowski goes up a lot in price. He's actually not, like he's not, he's 60K. So that's up in price right now, but he's been 55K for most of the year. And look at his graph. It's been between 55 to 65K almost all year. So he's not actually up a ton right now. And also he could get a team of the year nominee card, which would have him go out of packs. Probably wouldn't be immediately when team of the year comes out, but he could get a nominee card and go out of packs. Of course, that's just like speculation, but that's a possibility too. There is a non-0% chance that there's no 91 rated cards in packs in terms of gold cards. Um, there could be an informer too sneaking in there, right? During the team of the year. But then again, there that's probably not going to be enough to bring the entire price of 91s down if there's just one that's in packs uh, getting supply. Now, if Player of the Month Mbappe comes out, now, I don't know if it's going to happen. It's probably a 60, 40, 70, 30 chance Mbappe does come out. I would probably give it the benefit of the doubt, but I wouldn't say it's 100% guaranteed. If it does happen, you probably will see high-end fodder rise up more because people will be crafting that. Looking at like 88 pluses probably rise when Mbappe comes out, if he does. Now, the thing is, if he doesn't come out, you'll probably see 91 rated if they're in packs. Say it's Lewandowski and De Bruyne are probably in packs because De Bruyne will be a midfielder and Lewandowski probably won't make the team of the year. In that case, there's a chance 91s could drop right those two guys could go down more because they're going to be massively supplied on that day but then again 91s are not just that supplied in general right so that's why i think risk assessment is probably pretty good on 91s right now if you wanted to buy some because yes uh they'll be supplied when team of the year comes out but how many 91s are packed not that many honestly and if there's an mbappe that's out at the time i mean there's very high potential for 91 rated cards to do extremely extremely well uh during team of the year. If we look go and look at last year, I'm pretty sure Lewandowski, he was 92 last year, so a little bit different, but um, I think because he was 92 rated and he was in the team of the year, he was out of packs for a while. I think during team of the year, he rose up to like 100,000 coins for about 70,000 coins. The day before team of the year, he was 60,000 coins, right? Right around that mark, he's in the team of the year. So he comes out immediately on Friday and then he's up on Sunday to 76,000. So He's not going to be out of packs during this time, so a little bit different. He's also a 92 rated card, but the point still stands. There were no 92s, I think, that were at all available. So he went up a ton because he was the only one. And even later in team of the year, he rises again past like 83, 82,000 coins right at the end of team of the year. So rarity on 91s and hopefully some demand could indicate a really, really big rise on these cards. I think they are a pretty decent buy. So when we talk about preparing for team of the year. If you're familiar with the channel, honestly, you're probably liquid by now, which is good because we've made coins over the last few days. Really the big thing to prepare for team of the year for the most part is for me, I do like saving packs. I know that it's hard to save packs, especially when the first team of the year players come out like the three attackers. Uh, it's difficult to hold on to your packs while those guys are out and you don't have to if you don't want to. But what I would do to prepare for team of the year is saved packs um i had success with them last year i saved like i think it was like seven or eight hundred packs and um i got like four or five team of the years and i would have done that this year but obviously like i need to create content for you guys so i kind of need to have coins and open packs so what i would do is i really would just hoard packs right now i love personally saving packs and then you know having the satisfaction of being able to open them whenever i want to play the centurion's cup go do silver beasts go you know whenever you're bored just complete some of this stuff get these objective fodder cards you're gonna need fodder for team of the year even though you have a ton of saved packs I guarantee you, there's going to be a point where you're going to realize, oh, I want more fodder right now. And you're going to be glad you did some of these objectives. Work on the century of wins. Work on the century of matches. Go play the silver cup. I mean, like if you want to try and have the most fun for team of the year, I recommend personally just getting the most packs you possibly can. League SPC is right now. We have a couple days left. Go ahead and grind them, right? If you're spending some coins doing it, that's okay, right? You're going to have a lot of fun opening the packs. And that's kind of what's the most important thing, in my opinion. And obviously, uh, League SPCs probably will expire. And I doubt they'll refresh instantly. I think it'll be very soon after. I think during team of the year, we'll see them come back, but I don't know if they'll refresh instantly. And I think that there could be some decent investments in there. If they did go away, talking like Lee and Commons or whatever, because obviously they were up a ton of price. 
We'll talk about this when time goes on and gets closer, when they possibly could come back. I hope they refresh right away because it's this game has been like way more fun with these League SPCs and the Winter Silver upgrade and the Winter Bronze upgrade being a thing. The problem is, of course, is it, it's not winter forever. So the Winter League upgrade hopefully does not just go away for like a full month. That would suck. That would suck. So I was hoping it sticks around because it's just made a giant difference in the fun level of the game, in my opinion, for menu grinding. Another thing to prepare for Team of the Year also, don't fall for the trap of doing a lot of these SPCs right now. Uh, Arigi, Mikatarian, like great showdowns, right? If you want them for your team, then sure, but don't just do them because they look good. This hero pack here, like don't just do it because like, oh my God, it's FOMO, fear of missing out or whatever. Stay diligent with your fodder. You're going to be very, very grateful you did this later on. I promise you. During Team of the Year, you're going to want to be putting, uh, I'll, I'm sure, a lot of fodder cards into actual SPCs that get dropped. You know, we'll have probably Team of the Year nominee SPCs. We just have so much stuff. We could see alternate reality icon species. I mean, like the the potential is limitless here on what we could see. Just, so don't, just don't put your fodder into these like purposely fodder draining things coming out over the next few days. And also for team of the year, usually we get league specific upgrade packs. And last year they did not require league specific rares. It just required gold rares, I believe which did send gold with gold rares up to like 900 to 1,000 coins. So if you know already you're going to want to open, hey, I want to open 500Ks worth of upgrade packs, try and pack a team of the year. What I personally would do is buy just gold rares right now. I, that's what I would do. I know gold rares this year have literally always been 700 coins and they've never gone higher than that there's probably gonna be a point during team of the year where they are more than this i guarantee you so right now 700 coins just if you are thinking you're gonna do a bunch of them um you could do this or just invest too you can always just use them as investments of course and also uh, i think i don't even think league on commons they're, they're the ones that if there were league specific requirements you know in the past years you've had league on upgrade packs right to try and get mbappe messi and those guys and then they have required league on rares now that has not happened for a while but if it did happen it again um you could just if you want to be safe you could buy a bunch of these right they're right now already being bought up a little bit but i would be surprised if they went back to requiring league on rares i would be surprised about that so don't worry too much but look we have time and i would personally look at buying league on rares just because i want to buy all the rares right just make sure you're buying of all the major leagues and just in case they do require for whatever reason the specific ones so just go in club stock right you can do the same thing with gold commons if you get player picks Gold commons will rise up from 350, 400 coins, probably to 700 coins. This is the time of the year where everyone's doing upgrade packs, right? This is the biggest time of the year, basically, for upgrade packs. So they're probably going to have one of the highest rises of the year. So investing in these are going to be great. If you have a lot of them in your club right now, hold on to them. If you're a guy that just likes to sell when things are high and not, like, do a bunch of the upgrade packs and that kind of thing, for one, you're smart and you're better than me. But for two, just a lot, hold on to these guys, right? You know, go through your club. You probably have a lot of pages of gold rares that are tradable, gold commons that are tradable, etc. You know, all these gold commons right now I have in my club just sitting here. Just if you want to be the most efficient with your coins, clear these out when player picks are out for team of the year. You're going to be like making a shit ton of coins. So preparing for team of the year, just keep these guys in your club. Have a, as big of a club as possible in team of the year. That's your goal going into it. And you will be extremely happy that you did that. Okay, I think that's it. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. I love all of you. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Peace.